The world is still being bent over and spanked by the coronavirus pandemic, but today I want to focus on an equally large and growing disease. This is one I don't believe the WHO has recognized as a pandemic yet, but it's not far off, I imagine. It's called clout chasing. We've talked about this before when I mentioned the YouTuber who was making out with his dog for internet points. There was also the man who was executed by his girlfriend at point blank range with a desert eagle because it was supposed to be a viral video for internet clout. This shit is wild. People are dying. People are becoming dumber. All in the pursuit of internet clout. It's an ailment that's mainly afflicting the youth because a lot of the younger generation just has their entire lives online. They just exist in the cyberspace. So they're trying to emulate YouTubers even though they only see a weekly prank video from them so they're trying to live their life like that. They'll get all of their social information from Twitter and Reddit so these younger people are literally being trained to be losers. Their father figure will be some Reddit shitposter named Two Beans One Cream who's giving him advice on the Red Pill subreddit. It's sad shit. These people view internet clout as like this holy grail, this elixir near panacea that once you achieve enough internet clout, everything is perfect in your life and you're totally healed and fulfilled. You could be the saddest, most greased up loser, but if you have enough internet clout, you're perfect. That's at least the belief that a lot of people have, which is why some so desperately dedicate their lives to getting imaginary internet points and clout. Today we're going to talk about one such person, her name is Ava, and she is most well known for the coronavirus challenge that she started. I'm sure that video isn't new to any of you, you've probably all seen it by now, and if you've been on the internet for a long time, it's also not surprising or shocking that someone would do that. It's kind of like Goatsy. When I was young, Goatsy was like the craziest shit. Like that's something that would make you like fucking close your eyes, puke, and just go wild, like oh I can't believe I just saw that. And now all of a sudden, Goatsy, it's like almost safe for work content. Like you could have Goatsy as a Twitter profile picture and no one would bat an eye. It's still just sad to see someone stoop that low just for a crumb of attention. Just a tiny morsel of internet clout that they can try and sink their little teeth into. It's just pathetic stuff. As you can imagine, spoiler alert, the attention was so ephemeral that no one even knows her name. Which is good, so the only thing people know from or remember her for, her legacy for the rest of her life, is just going to be the fucking idiot that tasted a thousand dirty buttholes on a plane by licking a toilet seat. That's not exactly the coolest legacy to have, I imagine, but hopefully the two days worth of attention was enough. The reason why I'm even bringing this up now is because I'm seeing a lot of this on Twitter especially. I've seen a couple people licking toilet seats. One of them, I believe, got arrested and the Twitter account banned. So she did actually start some shit to try and influence people to doing some dumb shit for coronavirus pranks, challenges, whatever. So I figured I'd use her as the example here to talk about just how shitty clout chasing is and what a waste of time and life it is to pursue imaginary numbers on the internet. So let's show you a little bit more from Ava. Hi to all of you stupid skanks who like know that I still don't fucking have corona. Um, I have something though because I think I'm coming down with something because I just like feel so hot, rich, and iconic and if those are the symptoms of something then bitch I'm ill! A real zinger from Ava there as she continues her mission to be the most unlikable person on the internet. This is her most recent life update posted on her YouTube channel of 6,000 subs. Not the smallest number in the world, but not exactly knocking on the door to being famous, so her little clout chasing stunt didn't really pan out the results she was looking for. She tries to pull off this pseudo-ironic, sarcastic approach to everything she does and says, you know, rich, famous, and iconic. But she doesn't do it well, it just makes you dislike her even more. Because she's very clearly not self-aware enough to get the joke or make it into a joke. She herself is the joke and she just makes it clear she wants to continue to be the punching bag as long as it gets her any kind of attention, which is just super sad. Sweaty cottage cheese ass not, leave, ass not leaving the couch. So um, yeah, he's been coming over and piping me this whole quarantine. Um, the only thing about quarantine that's making me upset is I can't go get Botox. But otherwise, I'm really happy because all the restaurants are closed, so I'm getting super skinny. That's all I wanted to say. Bye! It's hard to find even a single quality to admire about Ava. Her approach to pretty much anything she does is perhaps one of the worst approaches you could take. 
She's been on Dr. Phil three times, uh, the most recent one obviously being about the Corona Challenge shit. Ava, this part's for you. You've been on Dr. Phil three times and your shit is still not blowing up. Why the fuck are you still trying? Internet Cloud is clearly not in your future. It's not in the cards for you. Dr. Phil is like the one direction for the internet. Anyone on the internet that associates with Dr. Phil blows the fuck up. Except for you. You are the outlier. The shit you say and the way you conduct yourself is so unlikable that not even Dr. Phil could accidentally find you an audience. So stop being an asshole. Let's take a look at the Dr. Phil clip. You then went huh? to spring break and hung out on the beach with a bunch of people. I was fine. I made out with a bunch of people. I was not hygienic. I acted like a degenerate. My immune system was down from all the drinking and drugs. And for I should have coronavirus, but I don't. Yeah, there's just no justice in the world. She didn't get coronavirus, but I'm pretty confident in saying someone around her most likely did. And I just really hope it wasn't someone of the older demographic and susceptible to it and they pick up your germs, you're putting their life at danger so you can entertain yourself. And that is ridiculously selfish and ridiculously irresponsible. So you can have 15 minutes of fame. Well, that's their problem, first of all, not mine. When I first heard this segment, I was actually convinced she was just an actress that Dr. Phil hired just to get some easy ratings or views or something. But as it turns out, this is real. This is her being genuine. She's just actually this stupid. So she's honest at least, you can say a lot of things about Ava, but let it not be said that she's shy. Because she's not afraid to come out here and show the world how dumb she is. She has no shame. And it's not you know their problem, you're the one that's doing it. No, you know what's ridiculously irresponsible and selfish is that your generation <clears throat> only cares about this virus because it affects you. No one cares when it affects younger people. They just say it's our fault. You guys are the ones dying of it, <clears throat> not us. Just an outright wrong statement, which isn't surprising because I'm pretty sure she's illiterate. Everyone's being affected by it and young people are dying from it. So, I mean, it's just wrong and she's just, again, wrong. But she does have an attitude that I've seen a lot of people on Twitter have at least, where it's just all about themselves and just whatever kind of joy they can give themselves and just throwing caution to the wind. They don't give a fuck about anyone else. And I think that shit sucks. I think that's a terrible mindset to have. It affects boomers if it affects young people you guys just find a way to blame us but yet this is pandemic <clears throat> affecting all of you so you're locking everyone down and instilling fear globally young people are dying from this as well do you even know how to spell science dr phil had the same hunch i did and uh, i think that's extremely cute duh i'm a senior at Rutgers, and now i don't get to graduate I mean, nothing's happening, which is fine. Like, it's not like I really went to class. This whole thing's a joke. Like, like. So you think this is all a hoax created by Twitter? That's what you're saying. I think. I think. Yeah. I think. Well, one clout started this virus. A bunch of girls in China started eating exotic animals for views on YouTube, and I'm gonna. I know for a fact that those bats probably do not taste good. They just wanted to shock people. And like, I get it, because I'm a cloud chaser myself. So this started a pandemic. During that whole little codename Kids Next Door monologue she goes on there, I felt like it was scripted. I, I felt like it was just a joke put together by Dr. Phil, you know, just to farm a little bit of controversy. And I just, you know, snap my fingers and say, you got me good on that one, Dr. Phil Rooney. I've been had. But again, I looked into her and from everything I've seen, this is just her. That is how she acts, behaves, believes. That is genuinely her whole personality she put on display right there. Which made me real sad because I, I thought as like a piece of reality TV, like make-believe, I thought it was pretty entertaining. But the fact that there are people that think like her and there are people that support her. They're not super hard to find. They're very few in number, but there's a few. I think that shit sucks. I think that shit's terrible. Now for the coronavirus challenge prank, she did uh, clarify on Dr. Phil... It wasn't a public plane toilet seat. She said it was her sugar daddy's private plane that she bleached and then licked. I don't know how true that is, but I mean, it's neither here nor there. It's just the desperation of it alone is enough to be just truly pitiful. But anyway, I think Ava is just the poster child for what clout chasing does to someone. Her entire life revolves around it. Uh, it's just a real sad shit, really pathetic trend. That I've talked about before, but with coronavirus coming around now on the internet side of things, people are taking that and using that as a platform to try and gain some quick little attention through some truly just despicable garbage like Ava did. Uh, anyway, that's about it. See ya.